All right, so render making. People think that making renders are pretty difficult. I mean, obviously, if you're new to making renders, it's going to be difficult for you at first. But the more you practice, the better you'll become at making renders. Like, that's something that every single render maker in this community had to go through, including me. So, yeah. So first things first, you go to plugins. You have to have Moon Animator installed. I don't really use this shit, this load character thingy about already pro because every time I try importing it into Cinema 4D, my avatar be going all over the place and it's just fucking annoying. So shout out to JVP for, you know, giving me this wonderful plugin that I can use to make renders. So you click on character inserter. And if you want to do somebody else, if you don't want to do your own render, if you want to do somebody else's, just copy and paste their ID over here and make sure that you have, that you selected R6 and then click insert. And what I like about Moon Animator is that you could go back and forth. Like, if you just did someone else's render, like besides your own, like I did Inception Leo, Jay Ballard, Extractive Forest, his prodigy. I don't know who this ugly ass thought is. I did Cranova, Chris Atlas, and Sean Blade. So, yeah. So you could go back and forth between different types of avatars you recently imported. And you could also delete it too to make some space. I mean, it's unlimited, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I have myself. Just click insert. And then you're gonna wanna, on the right hand side, under properties, you're gonna wanna scroll down till you see transform. Underneath transform, you're gonna wanna have, you're gonna wanna replace this little coordinates with these. 030. Zero, zero. You're gonna make sure that you have your coordinates looking like this. And you hit enter. Boom. It's set to its proper position. So just click on your avatar. Right click. Click on export selection. And you could save. You have to save your little OBJ file in any document you have. I have my documents pretty sorted out. So I already have mine saved. But you could just name anything. You could just name it. Like, I don't know, 45 or 56. You can just name it anything you want. You can put, I don't know, anything you want. Just give it any fucking name. It doesn't really matter. Then you click save. Close out. Open Cinema 4D. I use R17. Others may have the newest version of Cinema, but I use R17 now. I had R14, which wasn't bad, but pretty fucking old. It wasn't that great, but I use R17. So what you're going to want to do is... Click on file, click merge, go to wherever you saved your OBJ file, click click on this because this is the 3D object, that's the actual OBJ, so click on that, double click on it. This is the presets I have for Cinema 4D, so you could either pause the video and take a little screenshot if you want, but those are the presets that I have. Click OK, and boom, your OBJ file will appear inside of Cinema 4D. It's gonna want to rotate, and if you find if you find your avatar with no textures at all, or if you already if you already made a render like a previous one, and you find that your shit's blurry, you're gonna want to double click at the bottom over here, and just match the corresponding textures with this shit. So you see Cinos 991 texture. You're gonna want to go into your folder where it has the textures in your OBJ file. You're going to want to click the texture that matches with the texture it's asking for. Click off a transparency. If you want your render to be crispy, go to editor, click on this, click no scaling, and your renders will be pretty clear. So same thing here, click yes, click on transparent, go to editor, click no scaling. Same thing here, it's the final texture I have, click off a transparency, same thing. Boom, now I look crispy as shit. So, I use the Crybaby Lightroom, that's why you see bones, but we're using a rig, so we don't need bones. And bones are kind of ass coming, nigga. This ain't 2017, so like, who the fuck still uses bones? Unless you're a classic ass render maker. Like, then you're sorry as shit. Like, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're just sorry as shit. So, backspace, click on the limbs, backspace. Backspace, backspace, backspace. Make sure to backspace the head as well. Backspace. Go to click on content browser. Click on presets. And you can get any of these rigs off of YouTube. 
or you can ask around people in the community that have these type of rigs when you double click on it any rig you use i use a narrow one rotate it match with the eye patch click the helmet backspace click change click the final texture you had the one that had the skin tone and shit not the accessories click off a of reflectance and sometimes if your texture is not good if your texture if you click on it and your texture wouldn't wouldn't appear and it still has a little soldier texture you're gonna want to go to color see where it shows texture click over here and just double click it and then click yes and then boom it's gonna appear so I don't have any back accessories do I no I don't so I don't have any back accessories so what I usually do I just hold on to my right click side I just drag it down and then just drag it into attachments I click on attachments right here I just drag it to head attachments or you could just click on it hold shift if you feel like you're gonna make a mistake and just select the accessories and shit and just drag it to head attachments boom now when I click on the head part come on click on it there you go and I move it around my accessories move with my head so press ctrl Z if you feel like you made a mistake just do that now for the bending I'm just gonna do the most generic pose in all of road wrestling I don't got time to make good ass poses right now so you know basic shit bending is pretty smooth you know it's pretty easy to do it's not that hard just gotta give it a good ass gonna give it a good pose for the video like this bring the head down tilt it just gonna move the arm like that bring it back a little bit oh yeah and if you want to move around the rotate tool right here is to like Obviously, rotate the camera. This is to zoom in. This is the free roam. This one is to obviously move your limbs. Press Control Z. This one's to rotate. You can rotate your limbs. Get a little pose like that. But I don't want that pose today, so zoom in a bit. Fix the camera. Rotate the head. Position the camera angle a little bit. There you go. Now with the lights, you just hold on to shift. I mean, you're not gonna have multiple light rooms. Depends on what you use. I use the Crybaby light room, so I have multiple different lights. You can drag it back a little bit. Good. Bright up the entire render. Fix the head a little bit. There we go. If you feel like your render is a little bit too bright, you just click on each light. And just bring down the intensity over here bring it down a bit i usually keep it around 63 or 62 don't really matter and then with the rest i just play around and just dim it down a bit if you want to take a look at what your render looks like just press Control plus r and you'll get a little preview of what your render looks like if you have a shitty pc it's going to take longer for you to view it if you have a good PC, it won't take that long. But yeah, it looks pretty smooth. The lighting ain't that bad, so now it's time to render it out. If you want to render it, just click this shit over here. This is what your presets have to look like, so you could pause the video to look at this shit. Alright, so click save. This is what your presets have to look like. Yet again, you could pause the video and take a screenshot. Yeah, that's what your shit has to look like when you're saving it you know i just save my shit in my own documents i put i made a special folder for the video you can save it anywhere but i usually save it in renders but i'm just gonna save it for the video oh yeah i think i made a render well, not too long ago i don't even remember but i'm just gonna call it 76 just give it a random ass name now it's saved into that folder now when i render if you want to render it just click this shit right here click on it and now it's gonna render it's not gonna take that long for me but if your PC is ass then sucks to be you buddy cuz you have to wait a long time but yeah 
doesn't take that long for it to render and then boom that's it now if you want to make your render bigger like when you post it on discord and shit you're like hey why is my render so small just download paint.net open paint.net and go to wherever folder you saved your render have it right here click on the magic wand right here click on the little freaking light bulb icon drag up the tolerance a little bit press control select any part of your body and just drag up the tolerance you see how if you didn't select everything and when you when you click on crop to selection that's gonna happen because you didn't everything didn't get highlighted so undo it and boom if it doesn't highlight everything I usually just drag it up to at least 70 and then just select any part of my body press crop to selection again click on save that's it now my shit saved that's it and yeah that's how you make a render bro not that hard